Okay, I'm going to show you how to pull a Zoom meeting usage report. And this is a handy report, so if you have a Zoom meeting, you can go back after the fact and see who attended your meeting and when they logged in and out of the meeting. And so that'll be helpful if your school is wanting you to provide information on uh, student participation and attendance. So the way you do this is you go to the Zoom website, and then you have to sign in. And if you scroll down, you can sign in with Google. Uh, if you have not signed in at least once using SSO, uh, you're going to want to do that and enter Beaverton K-12, and that'll upgrade you to the educator version of Zoom. After you do that once, then you can continue to log in with Google uh, and your BSD Google information, and that'll be fine after you have done the upgrade. Um, it's going to take me to my Zoom account. Again, this is the Zoom web page. I'm going to go down to reports, and then you have two options. You have meeting or usage. Uh, you are going to want to click on usage. And then up here, you can put uh, from when to when you want to pull meetings from. So I have all of my meetings since yesterday. So I have today's meetings, which I don't think I've started any, and my meetings from yesterday. So here are my office hours from yesterday and our Nancy Ryle specialist team. So I'm going to scroll over on the specialist team, and it shows that there were four people that attended this meeting in addition to myself. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to pull up everybody who attended our meeting. Uh, their email if that's included, and it's going to give the the time that they joined and the time that they left, right? And it tells you how long they were in the meeting for. Uh, for attendance purposes, uh, your student only needs to be in the meeting for one minute, and that counts as they engaged in something. So that's what your, your school is going to want to know as far as attendance purposes. Uh, it's also going to show, like Jessica here was having some internet issues during our windstorm, and so she got kicked out a few times and then jumped back in. Uh, again, when you're looking for engagement, you're just going to scroll, and you, you you can only do this a day at a time, so you can't zero in on just half an hour. So you're going to have to search in this report and look at the timestamp between like 9 and 9.30, 9.30 and 10 for each of your classes. Uh, you can also export that to an Excel sheet, and if that's easier to sort uh, by different uh, students or teachers, that might be helpful in that way as well. Uh, this is how you pull your usage report. If you're using one link for the whole school, again, it's going to pull up all six of your classes for that day, and then just like look for students by the timestamp here between uh, you know the hour and the half hour, or the half hour and the hour. Um, so again, hopefully that's helpful. I think this will be probably the easiest way to track attendance for our students.